Hey YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review and today we have this beer from the Block 3 Brewing Company in beautiful, beautiful St. Jacobs, Ontario. Uh, for those of you that haven't been there, really close to the Innocente Brewery, which is uh, like four minute drive away. So if you hit up Block 3, you can hit up Innocente at the same time. You're actually well within uh, range to hit up uh, Wellington and and F and M and uh, the Brick if you wanted to, all in that same little area. So that's actually a nice place to go. This beer is brought to me by the good, the awesome, the only Colgate. Uh, there's a moustache on this. This is the Push Broom Porter. And I guess it, the moustache is like a push broom. Pushing your way in, sweeping the stuff. Yeah, anyway, uh, this is 5.4% alcohol by volume, bottled on the 21st of November. So today is the 25th of December. Merry Christmas. I don't know when this is going to get posted. Probably sometime in January, maybe even February. Who knows? Let's pour my porter. My porter. Alrighty. Well, I kind of had a feeling this would happen. I uh, used this glass last night. I did rinse it out, but uh, it was sitting up like this for a while, so there are some water stains on the side. We'll, we'll get rid of them. We will, it just doesn't make the beer look as nice as it could. That side is actually good. Beautiful black, brown head. It is actually a very nice looking porter. It looks like a porter should look. Who would have thunk it, right? These guys actually know what they're doing. Some of their beers, a little safe, but it's the area they're in. Uh, all craft breweries, a lot of craft breweries will do something safe. And you know what, that's what you have to do if you want to be able to sell to everybody, not just giant weird craft beer heads, right? So, ooh, ooh, oh, okay. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, some molasses, just, just everything you would expect from a porter. Actually, it almost smells like there's a little bit of lactose in there too. I'm pretty damn sure there isn't, but it kind of has that milk stout kind of scent to it. Okay, let's try it. Cheers, I want in on this. So, scent, at least a B plus. Visual appeal, an A. Flavor, really damn good. A nice, light, sessionable porter thing. About a medium mouthfeel. A little robust roastiness in there. Not not too, too much, but a little bit of robust roastiness. A nice little coffee background. A little dirtiness mixed in with that coffee. Nice chocolate and caramels up on the forefront. Uh, this actually is a great, just standard porter. I mean... You ask people what their their idea of a porter is, and a lot of them are going to say things like uh, things like London Porter and the like. Uh, for me, this here, this here does the job. It is doing exactly what I would expect out of it. It is being a porter. Um, nothing, nothing else really to say. If you want to know what a porter tastes like, if you want to know what the porter style tastes like. Block 3's Push Broom Porter, a pretty good representation of the style. Again, chocolate, caramel, some molasses, uh, coffee, a little tiny bit of a roasty, toasty note. Um, nice greeny sweetiness. Uh, comes off with the English hops too, it has that dirtiness on the background. All in all, great little beer. Uh, I would easily give this, um, personally, probably an 8.5 out of 10. Very solid stout, almost stout, uh, almost oh, stout. Why am I fucking saying stout now? Very solid little porter, almost porter dance worthy. It is a beautiful little beer. <sighs> if 
Thank you to the awesome guys at Block 3 for brewing it. Thank you, Devin, for picking it up for me. Great beer. Try it if you can. Bye, guys.